I guess. We have right, a so Schwan's when you mic. look up here, oh, we're recording. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, when you look up there, look in the oh, yeah. lens. Looks like we're action. Oh, As always, we have this all professionally dialed in. So we have an announcement. We have something very exciting coming up in a couple days. Kim, you want to tell them about it? On Friday, we're going to be famous. That's right. Okay. Finally, it's finally going to happen. Debbie's dreams come true. That's right. She's going to be able to pay off the Schwann's mic. Ever since I used to watch Donny Osmond, Donny and Marie's show, I wanted to be famous. And now, it's going to happen. For me, it was Sonny and Cher and Carol Burnett. Oh, show. I used to watch both those, too. Carol Burnett show was the best. Yep. So, uh, so we're going to be on, Carol Kaczynski's got quite a business set up around her gluten-free flour and her cookbooks, and she's got a Facebook page and a channel and stuff, so she invited us to be on her Facebook Live on Friday at noon. My brother and my daughter are being full on jackasses behind the kids. Something's happening with the dogs. We were trying to get the dogs and the kids and everything off the set when we film, but it's just never going to happen. But when we so. start filming, it's like a, a magnet of like the vortex just like sucks everybody in. All the crap starts happening. See, there's one right there. There's one there. Oh, yeah. There's she two over there. there. There's before. two dogs there. I think that one dog is licking the private parts of another dog, and that oh, yeah, might be. Oh yeah, that's probably what's happening. The garbage is. <laughs> Someone has the garbage like <laughs> overflowing stuffed out with the thing pulled out, and I'm like, <laughs> uh, this is a real professional operation. We have. Yeah. is cracking yeah. up because I think it was her that did that. <laughs> that was me. Yeah. Can you empty the garbage? Yeah. All right, so anyway, back to the show. So Friday, we're going to do, what's it called, Simply Gluten? or gluten? Sim Simply Gluten Free. Okay. At noon, it's her Facebook page. We're making, um, we're making this grilled chicken. With beer. No, with, it's got a mustard reduction. Sounds really good. And then she's, I think, going to make a gluten-free, like, beer and cheddar bread. I thought bread the beer or bread. played into the chicken somehow. Yeah, the chicken is like a mustard and beer reduction. It's like oh, a... Okay. I was close. Yeah, Debbie's totally on it. But this is this is Debbie's... This is my forte. The this, Schwantz mic. The Schwantz mic and all the cameras and uploads and downloads. That's all Debbie's jam. So we're going to be on Carol's show. She invited us. I hope that we don't embarrass her. And I think maybe we might... Facebook Live it with the, one of our phones, or maybe we'll bring a, our own camera. I don't know. We haven't even really thought about it or talked about it, so I don't know. But but it should be interesting. So for those uh, four follower, followers that we have that uh, are left wanting after our shows because we forget to buy stuff for our cooking shows and everything else goes wrong, she's like a legit operation. Someone told me today that we, we remind him of the Galloping Gourmet. The Galloping Gourmet. Which is a show from 1969. Huh. Where I was four. I was... Not born. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I heard it was funny. The guy makes jokes and makes food and stuff like that. And so he was asking. He's home with a knee or hip replacement. And he was saying, oh, anyway, I love your show. It's really entertaining. And so we're going to be on Carol's show. But Carol's show is like legit. So we're going to have to like put on our game faces somehow. That's a little scary for me because, as you know, if you've been watching any of our videos, I bring nothing to the table when it comes to cooking. Just her sunny disposition. That's right. Ting. Well, we're gonna also going to maybe do a little taste test of some gluten-free beer. I can because, do that. Because, you know, there are some gluten-free beers that are actually really good. And the person I call when I'm looking for to buy some of that is Carol Kaczynski's son, Dustin. He always gives me good recommendations because he's totally gluten-free. Yeah, I don't think he's celiac, but I think he gets really sick if he eats gluten. So, And I'm excited because I can finally eat the food because I'm totally gluten-free. And as you know, I can't eat any of the stuff that we make nine times no, out of ten. A lot of times you can. Like nine times out of ten you can. Like when? What? We've made all gluten-free pastries and shit. Almost okay, all. Okay, one or two times. No, like eight times. We have it documented so we can go back and watch our movies and yeah. see. And also... Apparently, per Debbie, the comment count on should we go to the grocery store with a camera 
And a redneck pickup truck was yes, but I didn't see any of those comments. All I saw were the notes. It was a definite yes. People want to see us on the road. So those shows will be coming. Uh, on the road. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. All right, good. So tune in um, Friday, Friday at noon. Friday at noon. And then we'll post it on our Facebook pages after it's done. And maybe Debbie can get it on our YouTube channel. You know. Maybe. Yeah. Good. If we don't look too haggard or fat or... What are you going to wear? What am I going to wear? I don't know. I'll probably do something unusual and wear a gray hoodie. Yeah. I was told to never wear that gray hoodie on TV again. Really? Why? Renee Bassoni Baloney told me, you are not allowed to wear that hoodie. Renee! Bassoni Baloney doesn't love my hoodie. But that's yeah. fine. It's good when your friends say, hey, you look like a fat old lady with your hoodie on. But that's not true. You mean the Vermont hoodie? Yeah. I like that hoodie. Well, I love it, but maybe it's just not the most flattering. Well, thing. do you see what I wear? I never wear flattering stuff. I usually wear hoodies and ripped jeans and slippers. I know, but you're like 96 pounds soaking wet. So you can really wear anything and not look fat. I have to maybe be a little more strategic. Because I'm 106 not pounds. True. So I think Kim always looks great. Her hair is really pretty. It's curly. She looks nice. She has a bit of makeup on. I always look like I just dragged out of bed. And there go the dogs in the background. So on that note, we're going to go. I got to eat. And we'll see you Friday at noon. Yeah, Friday at noon. <laughs> See ya. Okay, toodaloo.